Hey guys, Dan Smith back here at the WCMB World Finals. I'm here with my good friend and pro rodeo announcer, Skip Ransom. How's it going, bud? Good, man. Good. Great round today. We had a fantastic set of bulls in, in all three segments. We had the senior minis, we had the juniors, and then we had the novice. That novice pin, uh, I mean, there's not much you can say other than those bulls buck. There was, there was quite a few guys in that pin that uh, I think today they thought Round one was going to be the more rider friendly bulls. Well, yeah. Welcome to the world finals, kids, because uh, <laughs> we, we ran some bulls now that really bucked. But if you go back to the senior minis where we started with today, um, not a whole lot of difference between the junior and the senior minis as far as the bulls go, but the age difference in the kids makes a big difference because those kids are starting to figure out that they're strong enough to hang on to one. They're starting to figure out how to move their body on the back of a bucking bull. And you saw that today. You look down through this list, and they wrote, I think, a third of the bulls out today. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of bulls got covered. We saw the same thing happen yesterday in the junior minis. So, those, yep. those kids are pretty close as far as skill level mm -hmm. goes. When you look at the top four, though, you're looking down here at Sterling Hutron, 70 points today um, on a bull that I thought he should have been a little bit higher on. I, th I think that kid – uh, stayed more square. I think he stayed in the middle better and uh, and rode that bull a little bit more dominant than a seventy yeah. point ride. But seventy points where he puts him, and he's already got that foundation built for the rest of the week. When you when you're talking about rounds that are you know averages and all that stuff getting getting to play, if you don't ride your first round bull, the pressure for you to ride your second round bull is that much higher. Yes, it is. Um, you know when you get through that first round and the kids have bucked off in the first round, now they've got to go in there and they know already tomorrow. It's yeah. a it's a do or die situation, and so for some of them kids, the nerves are going to get to them. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see guys that rode today that aren't going to ride tomorrow because they're going to get comfortable and they're going to think, oh, I rode one, I don't, you know. Um, so it, it'll start to be a war of attrition. You know, the the veterans that are coming up and get ready to age out, you'll mm -hmm. see them step up. The guys that are kind of still in the age group for another year or so, they're going to kind of be a little bit more hesitant, I think, just based on what I saw today. But Absolutely. overall, a great set of bulls in that senior mini group. You look at Dane Cipriani, you know, another guy that's 72 points. Very good ride he made today. I think 72 was a fair score for him. I think he made a good bull ride. Um, not much more he could have done with the bull that he had. Yeah, it, it, at one point, it looked like he wanted to make a big move, but he realized, I guess, in that, that moment, he didn't have to. Well, you know, and that's the thing is, like, when those kids are that young and they, they can – make a decision like that and ride at a mature level yeah. mentally. Uh, you know, it changes how they do their, their job. And you look down here, you know, between first or between second and third, rather, it's a half point difference. Yeah. And so Bryson Culpepper rides a bull today that um, I wish that he would have put a little more effort. I think he could have rode a little yeah. bit more dominantly than he did. Um, I've seen him ride some really ranked bulls, and so I know that he's capable of riding yeah. really ranked bulls. Mm -hmm. That bull today wasn't really ranked. He kind of threw some dirty stuff in there, wanted to lean him back on the end of his arm. But nonetheless, Bryson Culpepper got it done again, finished yeah. the second, and he held on to the round lead for quite some time until, like, I think the last two or three guys went out there. Yeah. And then uh, we saw a big score from John Wrangler check. Took a re-ride. Yes, he did. Took <clears throat> a re-ride on a bull that he had already ridden, had a score in the books. Instead of hanging on to that score – he took a risk and said, hey, this is the World Finals. I'm going to get on another bull. He did that back-to-back. -back. There was no time between his first bull and his re-ride bull. Gets on his re-ride bull, turns into 77-point score and dominated his bull. Made a really good bull ride. I think the first place, uh, you know, going to him was, was fair enough. And and uh, I think John is, is riding that, that high right now. I think he's, he's going to go to round two tomorrow and be really dominant. Absolutely. And we talk about the guys that, <clears throat> as we were mentioning earlier, we talk about the guys that, you know, they're riding the hair off everything when they get here. And then all of a sudden they get here, and it's a whole different ball game. It's like the pressure builds up on them. Well, the, the pressure builds up, but at the same time, you know that that's that that age progression, and that's why the WCMB is so important because it's going to teach those kids that no matter what happens, you know, a month ago or a month from now, right now is where you have to be. You can't be thinking about what you did all right. year. You know, it's a clean slate to come in here. The points are gone. It's, everybody starts at zero, and so you kind of have to just go back to basics and fundamentals. If you can ride the jump and the kick. Oh, yeah. You can ride everything you get on. And so I think the focus on the fundamentals for these kids in this age group is really going to start to take over the rest of the week, and that's when you're going to start to see those averages stack up. Yeah, and the, the best thing, when we uh, we move we move from the senior minis, now we go up to the junior bulls. Different and ball game. We've got some really good names in this group. <clears throat> I mean, you go down to sixth place. We're talking about Carson Burkhardt. That kid knows how to get it done. And uh, at the end of the day, he just didn't place in that top three. Well, you know, I think bull power had a lot to do with that. I think if he would have gotten on a bull that had a little bit more kick and more spin, I think he'd have been higher up there. He rode his bull dominant. Um, I just – sometimes the bulls just don't get you there. That's right. Um, and that, that's nothing on the rider, that, and that's nothing on the stock contractor either. Sometimes them bulls have a bad day, and, and you just kind of have to take what you're given. But 
uh, there again, we rode, I think, 16 or so of the 40 bulls. And so a good amount of bulls got rode in that junior section as well. Um, not a whole bunch of big scores. No. When you're looking down through here, pretty <clears> close. <throat> you know, you got 60, 65, somewhere in there. Uh, you look at that fourth place, Brady Lowe, that kid right there, I, I thought he should have been a little higher than he was. I don't think the bull gave him enough bull power to get to where he needed to be as far as yeah. high score. So, you know, it, it, like I said, it kind of is where it is. But when you get to those top three, I mean, really just one point separates second and first yeah. or second and third. And then you get to first place and it's a 77 point ride. That just shows the dominance yeah. there that that first place ride had. That bull was really good. Uh, but when you're looking down there at Jackson Tremaine, you know, a, a kid that, that I don't know too much about, but just seeing him on the buck and shoot, seeing how he acts, you know, before the bull ride, and he's got a process and, and he uses that process. He goes through that process and his game changes when he gets in the buck and shoot. Um, Absolutely. When he gets in there, he's a lot more dominant, kind of takes control of that bull, which is what you kind of have to do. And then you get to second place there, Walker, from from Florida, you know, the Tallahassee, Florida. The kid's been here four times. You mm -hmm. know, it, he's your son. You, you understand that when yeah. you come to the finals, that's kind of what it is. And he, he hasn't been able to dominate the finals like he, like he should have. So right. he comes in here, you know, he's been to the prom plenty of times to know <laughs> yeah. that the DJ is going to play a song and you got to dance, you know. And so – Comes in here today, rides a really good bull. I think his body position could have been a little better in some of those yep. spots. Had he been that way, I think we're looking at a 75-point ride instead of a 69 and a half. Absolutely. But, uh, dominant <clears throat> still, you know, gets yeah. a first-round bull road, and, and now the rest of the week he's kind of got to just focus on this bull ride, this bull ride, gold bubble. Yeah. You know? Because he also sets himself up. So when he comes in here tomorrow, you know, he really yeah. got to – Step up. Well, he'll know. Yeah. You know, he's, he knows he's got to stack two scores on top of each other if he wants to put himself in the top ten to get to the short round. It's, yeah, because we're going to move up here to that Jesus Villa. We're talking about a, a world champion in his own right. Um, now, let's talk about that ride. I think the bull was really good. I think I think he overshined the bull a little bit, but that's just me. You know, from, from where I was <clears> saying and I was above it, you know, like we said yesterday, some of the perspectives that I see are different from what you guys see on the arena floor. From where I was at, I think that he could have dominated that bull a little bit better. Um, yeah. I think that he, the score reflects the fact that the bull was really good. Yeah. But the cowboy could have been a lot better. And yeah. we, we could have been looking at an 80-point ride. He um, kind of got a little bit into his hand and kind of back on his on his rear end there. And, and when that bull was coming around those last couple of rounds, he wasn't where he should have been to dominate that bull. And if he would have been, would have been 80 points. But he still wins around 77 points. He wins it dominantly. I mean, he's up there, you know, six and a half points higher than the last guy. So, um, Jesus is going into round two tomorrow kind of the guy that everyone's looking at. You That's know, right. They're, they're like, hey, mm -hmm. you were 77. Now, that may not seem like a big jump from 69 and a half to 77, but when you think about it, when it comes down to Friday and you look at the top 10, if you're two points less than him every day and he yeah. gets bucked off tomorrow, when you come into round three, the semifinals, all he's got to do is ride one. And That's he's right. still going to be in the top three in the average. So those averages start to start, start to make sense and they start to play out come tomorrow afternoon we'll start to figure out who's going to be in that top 10 yeah, come friday we look from second second on down there's a lot of them that had c's in their backs and the guys yeah. at home that don't know about c in the back <clears throat> that's where they're they're trying to get there but they're not setting up quite well they're bending in their back and not in their hips yeah you know and they're they're that pressure when you put a bend in your arm uh it it, it allows that bull like a rubber band you yeah. know, that bull has the ability now to take your arm from you instead of if your arm is straight the whole time and, and it's pushing, yeah. that bull's not going to take the power from you. Um, and and you'll see that as you get to the older kids, uh, they start to utilize that a little bit better. It's easier on a bull that really bucks yeah. to kind of use that that momentum in your favor. Um, when we look down here to the to the novice, now these are the guys that are in high school rodeo. They're, they're 15 to, to 19. They – are starting to understand how the bull's mechanics work as far yeah. as when their bucking goes. And these guys are at a point where in the next couple of years, the decision's going to be made. Do we go in pro rodeo or do we kind of just figure out something else to do? A lot of these guys that were in here today, I mean, we give away five re-rides in, in this, this novice pen. And that was because the set of bulls that we brought in the novice pen was so good and so even oh, that yeah. if it wasn't able to get you there, <clears throat> we gave you another one. We didn't, we didn't want to have a situation where one guy was 61 and one guy was 80. You yeah. know, that, that creates a little bit of drama back there between the riders and, and, and the, the bull contractors. So no qualified rides outside of Chase Bynum in the novice bulls. He was 67 points, a bull that he did not – really think he could ride uh, if we're going to be honest yeah he, he got on that bull 
And I don't know when he got in there if he thought he was going to make the whistle. No, you know, absolutely. He, he kind of – he was hesitant in the buck and shoot, and to me that always tells me that he's having second thoughts and, and, and not having that full confidence. But um, a lot of good guys in this in this novice division that bucked off. Connor, Jesse, uh, Job Sanchez made a really, really good start to the bull ride that we're looking at an 85, 86-point ride. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, that bull just kind of stepped ahead one time, took the rope from him, bucked him off. But um, I mean, we have a good out here to the – uh, the last year's world champion, Daniel Gonzalez, out of Mexico. Um, <clears throat> a little bit too much bull power for him. He got running on the end of his rope. <clears throat> you know, as you know, you get, get that arm stretched out, there's nothing you can do. Well, you know, that goes back to the momentum part <clears throat> of it. You know, that, that bull, I don't think that bull had too much power for the rider. I think he let that bull get an advantage over him and, and get him to the end of his arm instead of keeping his chin down and, and riding up over the front of his yeah. rope. He kind of sat down and got a seat in his back. Put him on his pockets, and then when that bull jumped ahead, just took the rope right from him. Yeah. Um, you know, when you don't have any strength there, you're going to get bucked off. <laughs> we look at the Eiler twins out of Powhatan, Kansas. Those yes. two girls have been riding really good all year. Madison started a great bull ride. You know, just, I mean, kind of got her lifted up a little bit, and that one jump, she missed him on the up and, and bucked her off. But um, as we look through this, this novice section here, I think tomorrow those guys, now that they know the bull power, Oh, yeah. Now that they understand, like, all right, these these are these are nineteen point these bulls, are legit. twenty bulls. We we got to you know start riding a little <clears> bit better. <throat> I think they step their game up because they're at that mental age now. Oh, yeah. that they know, all right, it, it's real deal. We got to get to it. The World Finals is here, and the the field's wide open. I mean, Chase was oh, yeah. sixty seven. He's not running away with it. No, no. Um, you know, and I think Chase gets on a little buckier bull tomorrow. I think uh, he's got his hands full, and if he rides one. He's going to be in a better position, but I think tomorrow he's going to have to really have his hammer cocked and be ready to go. Yeah, because you look down this list, there, there's some that are coming. I mean, let's be honest. You, you, you've got a lot of talent in here. Well, Bryce Thompson, a kid that, that I think started a great ride today, just couldn't finish. Yeah. Uh, you know, you look at another <clears throat> kid down here, you look at uh, Evan Pack. That kid dang near rode his bull, just couldn't quite make it happen there at the end. And, and uh, you know, Dakota Cecil, another kid that I thought was going to ride his bull today and, and – for some reason just didn't work out but um i think as the week goes on and we're into the semifinals tomorrow round two and three friday that's when it's all going to matter oh yeah you know we, we can we can speculate and we can talk and we can analyze all we want but when it comes down to it the top 10 on friday that's who we're going to pull our world champion from and, and i think that tomorrow you're going to see quite a few more qualified rides than just one absolutely you know we, you know we go back to last year you know there's one qualified ride he took him the world championship but you know, this is action-packed. There's a lot of great guys in here. And that's all the way through the list. I mean, you, you take round one of the Walt Trots and Junior Men's Felix, a lot of talent there. You know, today was very promising about tomorrow. Right. Well, you know, <clears throat> the old saying is you don't plant a tree and it grows fruit tomorrow. That's right. You know, so the Walt Trot guys, they're they're the seed in the ground. And, and we're seeing the evolution of our plantings happen all the way up through the novice. When we get to that novice age group, the kids that have come up through the WCMB, you can really tell the ones that have made a, a, a real focus on this. I'm going to ride bulls. This is what I'm going to do. And they take and they learn from every year that they come here. The WCMB does a great job at, at facilitating those young kids to get better, to ride better bulls, to be better bull riders by the time they get to novice. You, know, oh, yeah. you, you can definitely tell the kids that have been in the program. And, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I think uh, it's going to be even more exciting than it was today. I think Friday, the short round, lights come down. Absolutely. Fire goes up, and, and, the, and the kids are really going to show out. So um, exciting stuff this week. You know, round one is done for everybody. Round two starts tomorrow, and we just, uh, we're just we just going to see what happens the rest of the week. But, uh, you know, please uh, get on Facebook, follow the page, make sure you guys are following along because you're not going to want to miss the future world champions that we're building here at WCMB. Absolutely. Skip, it's been great talking to you. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll catch you down the road.